Hello and welcome back to the studio where we paint away the stress of everyday life. I hope I've sorted my mic out now. We've had a few problems with that. I'll explain to you as I go along with that because I don't want to waffle. I'm going to be looking down every so often making sure that my mic is recording because I've had some sound issues. But before we do that, let's have a look at the palette and see what colours we're going to be using today. Hey, welcome, thanks for stopping by. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to So as you can subscribe. see, I've got some cardinum red, some cardinum yellow, burnt umber, Prussian blue, and white. And I have to say, with my hand on my heart, that it is hot in this studio today. I am sweating. I really am. Okay, so um, what I got planned to do today is I thought we'd just concentrate on reds and oranges and things like that. I thought I would like I like to limit my palette. So it's gonna be a basic sky and I thought to myself, let's put let's put maybe a couple of mountains in the background like that. There we go. Just very quickly pencil in if if you're not very good at just drawing freehand or um painting freehand I should say just just do a quick sketch like that and maybe just a few mountains or hillsides or something like that just in front of them like that we're gonna put a maybe a rock or something there we're gonna put some trees in it's gonna be a very basic painting today and I thought it would be a bit of fun because it's a warm day and as he looks down making sure this recording as it's a warm day I thought I'd paint some, something warm. So there we go. We don't need a lot of colours. This is this is the thing. When when we paint in, um, we tend to overthink our painting and our palette. Let's just get a bit of white. There we go. Bit of white on my brush. Bit of yellow. I'm just going to put in a a nice bright area, just like this. There we go nice bright area like that and as I, as I progress I'm just going to pick up a little bit more red into that sky area like this and just brush it in and it is warm it is warm today it really is warm so I thought yeah I I, I got this I had this mind I've, I've had this picture in my mind for quite a while actually um, I don't know where I was inspired from for this, but I'm adding a bit more red. And I thought, I'm going to paint something really warm today. There we go. Do, 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 do. And if, you, if your brush is, if your paint is, um, if your paint is tending to dry a little bit quick, get a little atomizer bottle, a little fine mist spray like that, and just very lightly very lightly sprayed be careful for the of the of the water marks sometimes you get little droplets that will mark your paint especially if your paint is drying as quick as it is in my studio today it is drying super super fast so let's just get this little bit of i want i know i want a nice bright area down here there we go Do, 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 do. And, and it is drying super 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 fast today it really is a little bit of yellow in the sky merging that in there a little bit of red again just get a little bit of red on the brush there we go nice type of sunrise sunset sunrise sunset painting i don't condone putting your brushes in water like that i don't condone leaving your brushes in water like this this that is not a good idea you should wash your brush every single time you've decided to change color or you finish with that particular brush please 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 do that don't do what i do i'm only doing it for speed sake and um i ruin a lot a lot of brushes so bear that in mind okay so let's get a bit of yellow on white a little touch of red 
there we go and let's get some nice fluffy looking clouds in I got Molly coming in the studio my Molly is my little dog if you don't know who she is and she she loves coming in the studio she's sitting in under the fan I got a fan I got a fan blowing some nice cool air through the door as we speak a little bit more red I want to make a nice orange I think there we go a little bit more red a little bit stronger a little bit stronger not a lot don't overdo try not to add too much red to yellow yellow when you're making oranges be very careful it's a very strong color red so be very careful with that there we go just adding a little bit more do 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 give me some that cloud look I'm gonna go bright brighter now again just on this side blending a bit of that in do 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 sing song whistle whistle sometimes if you like whistling whistle if you like humming humming <laughs> when you get to my age you tend to hum a lot <laughs> a lot of older people hum i don't know why i don't know why people hum but a lot of people do <laughs> okay I, i'm not going to do no more because it, it can be quite annoying but there you get the idea you get the idea so we got a lovely sky got a lovely sky there so let's go into this orange because oranges we are we are looking at today oranges we are looking at today i want a nice bright more of a red orange and we want to put that mountain in don't we maybe a little bit stronger maybe a little bit more red an orange there we are I'm gonna come down just like that and we come in a bit lighter 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 do 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 Just put that range of mountains that we said in like this. Maybe there's a little bit of light catching there and there. Let's get a little bit more white. just a little bit of light catching and maybe now maybe we need to darken that side a bit there we go maybe we just need to bring a little bit of shadow in there just see it in your eye and see it in your mind's eye just build 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 there we go we're gonna miss that off in a second. I like my I like misting things. I do like misting things off. Let's get a bit more white. Or maybe that's just gone there like that. more of a rolling hill than a mountain I would say let's get a bit of this orange down there 
Let's check in my mic is working and it is working. I'm happy. I hope it's not clicking and going because sometimes it does that. I'm waiting for that new mic to come through, unfortunately. Um, with the way things are, I think it's starting to get back to after after COVID, but we still I, I'm still having difficulty against certain things. So I got a little bit of this sink mixing right. I had this sent to me three uh, years ago. Actually, it's, it's an open acrylic, so it, it's okay. It doesn't matter. We can talk a little bit about open acrylics and stuff um, in another video. Um, I wanna I wanna explain a couple of things. There's a couple of different manufacturers that do all these different things. Um, I think I'm gonna just put that in there and chuck that in the bin and then get this brush, make sure it's clean. And then let's just get some mist. So this is the zinc mixing right. I'm going to thin it down with some water, just plain old tap water, plain old tap water, a touch of yellow, just a touch, just to tint it. Because what I want to do is just put a bit of mist just down the bottom of these mountains like that. That is hazy or look. There we go. Bit of haze. Bit of haze, there we go. Hazing that off. I hit that with a hairdryer very, very quickly. Douche. <laughs> not too strong it's not too strong maybe maybe we can put just a little bit more mist in there now that's like that and then dry that off the other thing you can do um, this is just tips now this is this is uh, another little tip you can have a lot of I don't see many people do this you can just get your brush Get some yellow or whatever color you want to do. I'm using yellow in this circumstance. Uh, this is what they call a glaze. Now, if, you, if you're going to thin down your acrylics very thinly, um, I, I either suggest you use uh, an additive to it, uh, which I've got plenty of videos on to explain that, or when you finish, if this is going to be a finished piece of artwork, I would varnish it, and that locks the paint in then, so you're not going to have a problem. So I'm just going to put a glaze of yellow now, just over the whole sky area like that and maybe even just a touch of white down there like that don't see many people glazing like that What that tends to do is, because it's a very, very thin coat of um, paint or glaze, you get this lovely glow in this instance because I'm using a yellow and a white. So you get this lovely feeling and you've got the mist there as well, which is very delicate. It's very, very subtle. It's very subtle. That's, that's the look that I'm going for, is that nice subtly type of look. Now we need to um, come into a bit more red. Now, what I'm going to do with this red there, I'm going to add just the smallest amount of Prussian blue to it. So it's going to be more of a purple red or a dark red. There you go. And I'll touch a yellow just to bring that in. So we just changed the red a little bit. We've got to be careful with this yellow. It doesn't interact too much with the blue because it'll go a little bit green. Green and purple neutrify, n neutralize each other. So if you add green to, to purple, then you'll find that this goes really dull and dirty. It's, it's like it grays it out really. So you've got to be very careful 
on how you balance that. And then we're going to put another. I'm going to put another. I want to darken that a bit more, actually. I don't want to go too dark. I'm adding that bit of yellow again. So I always start in. It, it can it can go quite mm, a dirty looking. But I want that rolling hill effect just in front of that mountain range like that. What that does, because it's a different tone of colour, it's going to give that separation, that distance separation there like that so let's get a little bit of this a lighter orangey yellowy color again very 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 subtly just put some very subtle highlights it's a bit of white to that there we go watch your colors don't merge too much and get too dirty I don't like dirty colors I like vibrant colors but this is distant again just pulling that in there like that there you go so you've got those distant mountains, you've got a little bit of mist, you've got another like hill type things there. Um, I hope you can see that and I'm making sure that everything is recording. Now I'm going to get a brush, another brush, and I'm going to add a little bit more yellow to this. A little bit more yellow. Okay, I need a little bit darker. Now this is going to go green. This is going to go ever so slightly green now. There we go. We've got a little bit of green. That's not a very good brush actually. Um, let's go back to this brush. There we are. There we go. So you can see just a just a little little flicks like that. What we're going to do is we, what we're doing is putting some trees in place. So I might paint over a few of these, but we just want a little bit, a little bit of dark on the side, a little bit of brown. Now, Prussian blue and burnt ember is going to make a black type of colour. Look at that lovely grey. So let's add a bit of red. To see, play with colours. Play with colours. See what, see what type of colours you can you can make up. There we go. That's a lovely type of colour. There we go. Add a bit more blue to that now. Slightly darker. I don't mind if it goes green because these are trees, so. It's a little bit of shadow. There we go. Do -do 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 -do. Now, let's get some Prussian blue. So I'll. Well, Darker again. Do 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 do. And before it dries, we need to get a let's get a palette knife. Before it dries, let's just put a a few little 
lines in that now just to just to show it like maybe a, a few tree trunks and things just catch the light maybe who knows who knows a little bit more Prussian blue a bit more Prussian blue we need to bring in some more trees here this um i'm just going to change my brush check my sound recorder uh well one two one two one two <laughs> I want two, one, two, one, two, four. Okay, let's go a bit of yellow, a bit of red. Bit of highlight in there. This is green, obviously, this going green, that's fine. That's what we want, maybe. A little bit of. Maybe just a chuck a little bit of light in there or something. I don't know. Do -do 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 little bit of light catching on the odd tree we can do that in a second anyway not not to worry not to worry about that too much about that we'll spread that across there we'll have um let's get our brush again let's get it uh, we got a bigger brush and we have um da -da 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 -da. i don't want that one's too big Let's have a look at this one. See if this one works. There we go. A right, Prussian blue, burnt amber. Prussian blue. We got that little bit of light in there now so that's cool i quite like the way that's looking so let's just put a few scrape a few things in like that we're gonna put a bit of highlights on these in a second it's not gonna be look as dark as this when we, when we're ready so let's get a bit more red i want to put a bit more red in there now because i want to change the flavor of touch let's get a little bit of yellow to it just making a color there we go I'm not happy with that one okay let's get a bit more blue there we go I'm not happy with that colour. That is starting to get really um, dirty and mucky now. So we'll, we'll just start fresh. So we get a little bit of red and Prussian blue. Make that purpley colour again. And put a little bit of that colour in down here. Bit of yellow. Okay, I'm hoping that's gonna it's gonna have the effect that I wanted to. I'm gonna go straight into some Prussian blue now. I think I'm gonna darken this area now down here. Put in a few. Things 
things I like that I like that I like that it's looking quite nice actually now it's drying it's looking quite nice we need to get some light on the sides of oh, these trees now This is always oh so many different colours when you when you if you go into the into the, the forest trees and things like that there's oh there's all these different colours. All these different colours you can see. There's definitely a, a nice yellow spot there. The sun is glinting through there. There we go. That's where the little bunnies live. Maybe, maybe we'll bring a little bit more light down, just like that. And we can put some grass down, put some grass in there. Ooh, it's a wasp. Wasp. I nearly got, I nearly got stung in the arm then. I nearly got stung in the arm by a wasp. That was horrible. That put me right off. That's put me right off. <laughs> there we are. That's life. You, you, you mind in your own business and this little thing comes in and he decides to try and sting you for no apparent reason. I didn't, didn't do nothing to him. And he was going to sting me. I'm sure he was. There we go. It's coming together a little bit of light there, a little bit of dark. We need, we, I want to darken this a bit more. I'm just going to leave that like that, I think. In fact, maybe I did say I was going to put a. I did say I was going to put a. Let's get a bit of white and yellow now. Big almighty rock there. We'll put a few rocks and things there, I think, as well. I think we'll we'll we will put some um maybe some rocks and boulders maybe there like that Whoosh. a few little lines like that I'm just gonna get a brush and let's get some orange color. This rock is definitely going to be picking up some light. Off. Some shadow is in like that. Where's my card? Let's, uh, now we're going to scrape. some rock patterns in that's so all I'm, all I'm doing is just taking a little bit of
paint off just to give it a little bit of texture I'm going to catch a little bit of light on the tops of these rocks then just like that Just get a little bit of shadow. Yeah, okay, so let's get a bit more. Just light in there like that. I want a bit more yellow on there, don't I? And then just put a few highlights. That's like that. And then we need to put some. lights on these rocks I know what we need to do now to bed all this in together is we get our brush our little scrubby lining brush if I can find it and I'm checking my voice recorder there we go now we need to put some bright light in now we need we need a light we need to put some light into this painting because it's it's quite it's quite a dark area down there so what we need to do now is start getting start thinking about some grasses and things and maybe put some bits of grass in it's catching that light just like that Even a little bit of yellow, maybe. Even a little bit of yellow. And even, we could even put some darker colour over some lighter areas. Maybe I'll just get some, some shadowy ones in. Because not everything is is going to be catching the light, so we we need to think about that. So this could actually be taken on to a nicer painting, couldn't it? I think this can actually be taken on to a nice painting. We could put a few little flowers, just maybe just just to lift the painting, just a touch there like that, just a few snowdrops or something like that, maybe just a few. there like that so what it does is just lifts the painting out so if you've painted something a little bit dark put a couple of flowers in yeah nobody's to say that you can't do that there you go <laughs> yeah I, I'm quite, I quite like I quite the way I like that effect because you've got this is quite bright in the front um, with those flowers there now we could get a little bit more maybe um let's get a little bit more of this lighter color i'm just making like a pinky color now there we go and maybe just put a bit more light Just reflecting on the top of this rock there. 
all I wanted to try and do is just push that give it some distance we could even now this is when you start to play when you start to play sometimes it's it, it, it can go both ways so be very careful when you start to play with paint um, and you should know when to stop and say yeah that's enough because we could put a little bit of a lighter area now just a touch just in there like that I guess if there's a little bit of light coming through Do, 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 do. You get a little bit of dark just around the edge of that rock. Then what that's going to do is going to set that rock off against the background. So by dark, if you've gone too light there than there, and, and it's a very similar tone, just if you want to, especially on something like this, you could put a little bit of dark just around that rock just like that and that's going to separate that from that now and what i try to do in these i don't say paintings these are lessons and how things can um you can change things how you can adapt things and little tiny things like uh the little tips and things like that we can we, we can we can i i try to show you um can make or break a painting but sometimes a little tip like that to darken uh, to darken that area there away from that will separate those two areas there and that little tip on its own um could save your bacon it really could it really could save your bacon i'm not going to do any more to this now because i'm going to spoil it so I'm happy with that as a lesson. I, I hope you are. I hope there's some tips in there. I hope there's some things that you can pick up and take it and do 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 your own thing. This is. I don't want you to copy what I do. I want you to learn by some of the processes I use to go on to becoming a fantastic artist. That's what I. That's my mission in life. Is Welcome, I don't like people. I don't want people to copy what I, exactly what I do. I want them to make their to own work of art. Wide. That's my goal. So anyway, thank you. Don't forget to click the so subscription button and the thumbs up time. would be nice and all that jazz. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>